over $43,000 in just 24 hours. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Ryan Nelnick back here with another video. As always, bringing the massive value and motherfucking blowing your mind. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how I made $43,034 in just 24 hours. Now this may seem like an impossible feat. However, might I mention, this is unbelievably possible. You just have to follow the right process and there is a little bit of luck involved. But before we jump too deep into the video, as you guys know, today is Thursday, so we're gonna be doing our giveaway for Dropshipping Perfection 2.0 to one random lucky winner. If you wanna make sure you're qualified every week for the giveaway, make sure you watch Tuesday's video and do exactly as I say in that video, and then you'll be qualified to win. So, if you wanna be qualified for future videos, go ahead and do yourself a favor right now click the subscribe button, make sure you like every video that comes out, and also make sure you turn those notification bells on so you can see when these videos come out so you don't miss when you win your free coaching call, free course, free cash, whatever it may be. So before we jump into the video, let's jump in real quick into the random YouTube comment picker and let's see who the winner is gonna be. Wait, gotta pick the right. I've only done this once, twice, three times. Yep. Okay, didn't work. Oh, it always gets me. They have this little gray link in here that looks like a YouTube link. I did this last time too, and then I had to edit it out, and it looked like a freaking idiot. Okay, so I gotta just paste this in here. Stupid free websites. Frustrating. 15 unique commenters. So 15 people were entered into the giveaway. And the winner is Isaiah Kaufman, congratulations, Isaiah. My man, Isaiah, on Tuesday's video, came in and commented saying, I just read his comment a few seconds ago, finding the right products. So Isaiah, not only did you win access to Dropshipping Perfection 2.0, but uh, we're also gonna be doing another video on finding the right products, even though we have some other videos within the YouTube channel just for you. So Isaiah, to win and get access, or actually you already won, to get access to Dropshipping Perfection 2.0, message me on Instagram, at ryan.melnick, shoot me a follow while you're there, since I'm giving you a free course, and I will give you 100% free access. That's it for today's giveaway, guys. Get excited, every single Tuesday we're doing a massive giveaway, uh, massive value, every Tuesday, every Thursday, bringing you the mother freaking value, no matter what happens, and no matter what we're doing, always producing that amazing content. So let's jump in right now, $43,034 in 24 hours. How do we do this? Uh, first off, want to provide a little bit of credibility here. Uh, get a little trust on your end. I know you may not believe or may have a little bit of doubts as it relates to doing $43,000 in revenue in a day. Obviously, this is not profit. We'll go over the profit margins in a little bit here. But what I want to do is provide you the benefit of the doubt of seeing a screen recorded video of uh, this day that happened live, okay, a video here, I'm gonna go to it right now, and then obviously I'm gonna sit here and commentate it as it's going through, but uh, let's go. All right guys, so here we are in the screen uh, captured that I uh, shot on the day that I did 40, or the day after that I did $43,000 in a single day, okay? So I'm gonna just play the video here, it does go kind of quick, um, obviously, my movie, haha. <laughs> uh, it does go by quick, so I wanna just kind of preface that because it does, yeah, I don't know, that day, it was like one in the morning when I shot this, so I was like, I don't know why. So, let's jump in real quick. You're gonna see my mouse going all everywhere. Just, just follow it and I'm gonna kind of commentate through it, okay? So, you can see $43,000 on June 12th. That was yesterday, you can see in the top right corner there. You can see today, okay, where I'm specifically, I had done $3,800 that day. It was about, you can see 12, 30, one in the morning, something like that. $3,800, $17.70, 3,500 visitors, 3,510 visitors. You can see there's a lot of visitors coming through. Um, you guys are gonna know why uh, there are a lot of visitors coming through. I'm gonna explain that in this video. You can see just where I've been sitting here, we've already gained 25, 30 visitors. You can see that's updating live, guys. This is not freaking fake stuff, okay? $3,800 so far this day, 40 over $40,000 the day before. Okay, and what I'm about to do is break it down uh, on a weekly basis 
and then I'm gonna go down to uh, the monthly basis and just show you uh, at scale where we were at. So just refresh it. Obviously, you know, no sales came through 1 a.m. It's not as not as big, but um, as it is in other times of the day. So we've already got like 30 visitors since we started this. 70 something thousand dollars in the week. Okay, 122 thousand dollars in the month so far of June. Okay, 1647 orders, 125 thousand dollars in sales, 3 thousand dollars in returns. Obviously, that makes sense simply because. You're going to get that two, three, four percent of orders coming through. So, guys, that's the evidence right there. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so as you guys saw, it is legit forty-three thousand, just over forty-three thousand dollars in over twenty-four, just over twenty-four hours. And you saw during that day, I was it was in the morning, and I already done a few thousand dollars in sales. And as you could see, the visitors were going up as sales were coming in. So, some of you might ask, how did I do this day, and how did it come about? How did I find the winning product? Lots of questions involved. And what I'm going to do is just go over kind of a, a little overview real quick of what I did, how I got to this $43,000 day, um, and how you can do that for yourself as well. So we are going to pick a color for the wonderful whiteboard of wonderful men and women across the world. That didn't really make any sense. I'm just trying to find something to say while I pick a color. I like blue. I like green. Those are like my two favorite colors. We're going to go with red because it's like kind of boom, you know? So you guys know, uh, whoops, okay, so I really like sketching out on this thing. It's just enjoyable, but like I, I tried the pencil last time. It was like delayed. This one's a little bit better. So uh, uh, it's still delayed. I think it's shooting the video as well. Okay, so first things first, what was the product and how much did I sell it for? So I have the product somewhere in that closet. Um, I've only been in my new house for just for a month now, so I have a bunch of crap in that closet that I need to take out, to be honest with you. I'm not a super organized person, and I am kind of love what I do, so I can't stop working to organize that closet. So, truth be told, uh, it's somewhere in there. I'm just not sure. Okay, so the product was actually a projector. Um, I was one of the first people to sell it. If you've seen it, it's one of those yellow and white projectors. Uh, what I will do is I'll actually put it um, right here. Okay, got to get used to this YouTube thing. Right here, I'll put a picture right here so you can see it. Okay, so that's the product. Um, obviously, I'm not just running a picture of the product. I ran viral content with an amazing ad copy to the people that are actually interested in this product, right? So what was so crazy about this product? Why was I able to do $43,000 a day? And how was I able to make, give or take, between 40 and 45% in my margins on a daily basis? That is a great question. So I was actually selling the projector for a lofty, a beautiful, my favorite number, three digits, $100. The per perception of value is definitely there. Um, there's a lot of value shown in the video and it's it's like a portal projector, like it, you can take it anywhere, all this stuff, right? So it's like, it's, it definitely has the value to it, okay? So $100, right? My cost of goods sold for that, we're just going to use round numbers. I think it was like $36, but we're just going to call it $35, right? That's give or take. I think at times I was paying $35, and that includes shipping. Okay, so ship to the customer is $35, okay? So $35, so that equals any gross profit of $65. Now, that is quite attractive because you're looking at this going, oh my gosh, I just need a cost to acquire a customer right? And that'll give you your net profit and then you are profitable, right? And you're looking at this going, wow, wow, wow. If I can acquire a customer for 65 bucks and be profitable, like I can make, oh my gosh, I can skip, like wow, right? If you consider the cost of ads, you can see that that's unbelievably possible to do. Well, that's what was so attractive about it. Well, the craziest part was not only was I charging $100, but I had upsells and downsells and cross-sells and bundles and all these things on the side, selling projection screens, selling tripods, selling another projector if they wanted to buy a second one. My average order value, and I don't remember the exact average order value for this, I was one of the goats to do this. When I say the goats, that's my, that's my name, goat, my Xbox Live username, is Goats. I was one of the goats to do it, which means crazy of all time, but really what I mean is I was the OG. I was one back in the day who started this product. I know you still see it nowadays. It's still, this product still is successful, actually, I actually still sell it on one of my stores, but okay guys, listen, crazy, okay? My average order value for this projector was not $100. My average order value for this projector was about 140 
dollars, okay? So the average customer that was coming to my store was paying $140, right? And so my average cost of goods sold, you could work out the exacts of that. It's gonna be about one and a half times what I was paying here. So it's about 50, let's say 50, just for the sake of even numbers, probably a little higher than what it actually was, but let's say $50 for the cost, average cost of goods sold. So the average customer, when somebody came to my store, on average, I was making $95 in net freaking profit, guys. That is beautiful, mm, gold, right? Because, in sorry, not net profit, gross profit, because uh, if you factor in the cost to acquire a customer, right, and let's say that's obnoxiously expensive, let's say it's $50 on average, we are still making $45 every single time we sell somebody, which is unbelievable because if you're doing, like you saw in that video, uh, we were doing hundreds of orders a day. Uh, it's like 350 to like 400 a day, right? So 400 orders a day with this profit margin, you'd see that's pretty crazy, right? Because you do the actual scale of that. What is that? That's like, uh, is that really what, I, what I, I'm doing the math in my head? That's yeah, $16,000 in profit to 17. Yeah, I was making about, that's about right. I was making about 16, 17, 18,000 dollars in profit a day, um, especially when it came to this day. That's about what I was making a day. So, wow, my handwriting's really bad. But if you consider $15, and I'm getting a little messy here, but $15 as your cost to acquire a customer, right? Your CPP. Based on normal US averages right now, you're gonna get a $10 cost per thousand impressions, right? Your CPM, right? So based on the United States of America right now, I could send this ad out to 5,000 people based on the average um, across all of Facebook's interest, 5,000 people, and you know how many people have to convert in order for me to be massively profitable? One, one person. That shows how cheap Facebook ads are and how unbelievably uh, profitable they can really be. Now, the biggest thing was that this is the cream of the crop traffic when it comes to the United States of America. I was not running the United States of America. I was actually doing something that's massively scalable um, in comparison. It's not quite the cream of the crop traffic, but it definitely gets people to your site at a cheaper cost, which over time can be very, very profitable. I was targeting worldwide. And obviously I was excluding Africa and India and Pakistan and Bangladesh and uh, Afghanistan and some, some random countries there, but uh, in contents, whatever it may be. But my cost per thousand impressions on average uh, was about $1, okay? So truth be told, what really was happening, yes, this traffic is not as good. You get people coming all the time that would never actually have the intention of buying anything or couldn't afford $100 or $140 to buy any projector. But for $1 at a $50 cost per purchase, I can send an ad out. Brace yourself. I can send an ad out to 50,000 people. And when I say that, I mean we're talking about impressions. So 50,000 people will impress me out, which means scrolling through, yes. It's not all 50,000 to stop. You're gonna get something like, I don't know, 15, 17, let's say 10,000 of them stop, right? 10,000 of them stop, and I don't know, 10% of those people click through to the website. 1,000 people click through the website. So you got warm leads clicking through the website that potentially buy something. Out of these original 50,000, do you know how many has to buy in order to be massively profitable with this CPM? I'll give you a hint, it's the same number over here. One. One freaking person. Guys, the opportunity, the opportunities are endless with this business, okay? And so what I did was I sent a viral piece of content with amazing copy and something that people could not resist out to an audience that was interested in, in that specific product and provided them with massive amounts of value and showed them exactly how they could purchase something and I left a lot of margin there and obviously the perceived value was at least at that $100 for the product, okay? And that's really it, okay? And I just ran the ads and you know, I had some US audiences, I had some UK, some Canada, some Australia's, but the majority of when I scaled 
uh, high up and winning the manual bidding and got into the massive amounts of volume of scaling, it was worldwide audiences, okay? So that's just one example of how I made $43,000 in one single day. I've had plenty of winning products where I've done thousands of dollars a day in sales. This is just one example I want to show you at a massive scale how things work and how the basics really break down. If you guys want, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a more in-depth uh, case study. The, uh, the full case study of this product is actually with all the ads showing all the interests I ran. The ad specifically is in uh, my program, Dropshipping Perfection 2.0. If you want access to that, message me on Instagram at ryan.melnick. I'm not going to try to sell you here on that. Really, whatever. If you want to get a process from somebody who cares, you know, message me. But besides the fact, guys, if you want to hear a case study, you want to see a case study, more in depth on something like this, on this product, maybe for instance, uh, let me know in the comments below. Guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you turn your notification bells on. Make sure you like this video because I literally just gave you uh, a product that I did over $40,000 in a day with in freaking 24 hours. And people are still running it to this day. Like literally I just gave that to you, okay? All the value is here. Make sure you turn those notification bells on because when I'm doing these giveaways, that way, you will see when a new video comes up and you can comment and do all that stuff. So that being said, appreciate all you guys coming in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, love you guys. See you in the next video.